In this presentation we're going to look at matrix summations for Octave and this is exercise C3 from my worksheet. So suppose we have a 3 by 4 matrix called A and the first column there is 5, 1 and minus 1, the second column there is 2, 3 and 4 and so on. What we want to do is compute the sum totals for each column so the four totals for each of the columns, the sum totals for each of the rows, so we have three rows there, add up all the values, and then the overall t overall value, as in what do we get if we add all 12 of those values. So the first thing we're going to do is look at exercise one, and what we're going to do is compute the sum totals for each column. Now this is the default setting of the command sum when applied to a matrix. So let's bring up Octave here. Here we go. So, and there we are. So, oops, let's start again. A, we have A and uh, typed in there. Now, what we're, so all we have to do simply is type in sum of A. And that gives us the, for each of the four columns, it gives the total. That's the default setting when applied to a matrix. I'm just going to show you the full specification here just to give you a clue as to what to do next. We're going to uh, uh, apply the additional argument, the additional specification one, and we get the same answer there. That's, so that's a little clue as to how to approach the next question. So the next question is compute the uh, sum totals for each row. Now to work on a row-wise basis, we, what we have to do is uh, specify the additional argument uh, 2 to the sum command. So let's look at that now. So we have A there, and what we're going to do is specify 2 as an additional argument to the command sum. This tells the octave that we're working on, on a row wise basis rather than column wise basis. So there we have it there. Those are the totals for each of the rows. We could also use the transpose operator as well. Uh, you might notice that the dimensions there are given differently to when we use 2 as the additional command. So another thing we could do there is actually just use the transpose operator a second time. That's a, a slightly more convoluted way about it. I the best approach is using 2 as the additional argument. Okay. So the last part is uh, compute the overall sum totals. So essentially all we have to do is add, uh, uh, sum up uh, a result we've already found. So essentially what our, uh, our answer is going to look like is sum applied to the, the function sum applied to the function sum again. Okay, so sum of sum. Now for any of the results we've used previously, we can just uh, use it again. There we have it there, it's 29. I'll apply to 29. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. And that ends our presentation.